Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying something new with um yeah, I'm trying some some new uh devices here to see if I can make it a little easier on myself instead of bringing everything in that weighs a million pounds um because my shoulder hurts. Anyway, uh, enough of that. So I wanted to talk to you guys about somebody by the name of Ethan Crumbly. Now, there is, uh, I don't know if his name um, sparks any kind of recollection or memory with you. And what's really sad is that, unfortunately, it might not. He was a 15-year-old school shooter in Michigan. And that shooting happened in uh, 2021. Four people died and seven people were injured. And uh, he was sentenced on December 8th, 2023. Life sentences. And then I think he had 14 or 24 years after the life sentence. He was 15 years old. It was in Oxford, Oxford Township, uh, Michigan, Oxford uh, High School. Um, for no real apparent reason, like there was, uh, but there were plenty of warning signs, so many warning signs that his parents are now being charged with involuntary manslaughter because they failed to take the gun away from him, to keep the gun safe from him. There was no safeguarding of the guns. As a matter of fact, there were his guns. He bought those guns. He had a journal about buying those guns. He had a journal about going into a high school and killing and just shooting away. He had such intricate writings and drawings that the day of the shooting, the day of the shooting, he was brought in for another family conference with his mom and dad. And his mom and dad never mentioned that he had access to weapons. As a matter of fact, after his mom had received messages from him telling him that, telling his mom from Ethan, his, her child, telling her, I got voices in my head. I'm depressed. They lost their family dog. Um, I hear demons. I hear voices. They thought it was a good idea to buy him a gun. They thought it was a good idea to um, help him uh, get a weapon. And not only that, there was a few weapons. So the parents are now being held accountable for their lack of action. What do you think about that? I'm fine with it. Personally, I'm fine with it. Parents should know what their kids are doing. That being said, I understand that parents are out there making a living and some single parents are out there making two livings for the, just them and their kids. But still, you, you have to be a parent. You have to know what's going on with your kid. This kid was clearly struggling. People had seen it. And what happens here? He, he, he is, this kid is so sick. He talks in details, in details about how to kill a classroom filled with students. He talks in details about how uh, to start off the killing. He's going to shoot a pretty girl because he wants to be famous for the biggest shooting in Michigan history, the largest mass shooting in Michigan history. He wants to be famous for that. He's looking forward to going to prison. He's writing in his journal, well, only so many days to go to prison, only so many days to go to prison. How does somebody, what happened? How does that happen? That didn't happen overnight. 
there were plenty of warning signs, right? There had to be plenty of warning signs, especially with a journal, especially with a kid reaching out and telling his mom this. What is she thinking? Why would they buy him guns? What? I just don't understand that. And should they be charged? Yes. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Check it out. That happened. Oxford Township, Michigan. Check that out. School shooting. November 30th, 2021. Ethan Robert Crumley. C-U-R-M-B-L-E-Y. His parents right now are in court. You can see it on court TV. You know. For manslaughter charges, each of them. Each of them. I think that that should set a precedence for what's going on in the world today. I think that we have to hold parents accountable for their children. Absolutely so. Especially when there was proof that they knew that he had issues. And especially, they asked the school, said, take him home today. And they told, no, they, they weren't willing to take the kid home from school. You know, I guess if they really wanted to suspend him, they just would have been done with it and done and had done it. But I don't know what it would have taken. All of that, I mean, now I'm sure things have changed when there's, but they alerted, they alerted the family. You would think that the family would say, let me, let me just take him. Or you would think that the family would bring him in and say, what's going on? Or you, you would at least think that maybe, maybe they would say, wow, he, you know, he's got some guns. Um, that was a bad call on our part. But how do you think it feels now? <laughs> Just asking. Like, how, how do you think it feels now? There's so much that's changed in the world since I've grown up. I think since a lot of the people that watch this channel has grown up. And, um, you know, I, we, we can't protest everything, but, you know... <sighs> Why is that a Christmas gift for a child? It was an early Christmas gift, believe it or not. I understand the hunting. I'm not a gun person. I understand the hunting. I, I understand this, the sportsmanship of, of that. I do. I don't understand these semi-automatic weapons. And I especially don't understand them for children. And I don't understand why it was okay for, for parents to purchase this on behalf of their child. Um, I think that there's always going to be loopholes in the gun laws. And I, I mean, you know, I, it, that's a political conversation that is very, mm, you know, I am just not a gun person. And um, I definitely don't think a 15-year-old troubled child should be receiving a Christmas gift of a Derringer. And what was the other gun? There was, there was a semi-automatic, uh, a SIG, 9mm SIG Sawyer SP semi-automatic handgun. Um, there was, uh, and then there was that little Derringer. His mom used to take him to the shooting range. There's video of that. You can see all of this on video. I just wanted to like introduce you to a case that's going on um, right now where you know there is a, d a debate on whether parents should be held accountable because here's the thing like if they're going to be held accountable for that, right? So why wouldn't they be held accountable if there wasn't a gun involved but just um, just bad behavior? of a child that just loses it and god forbid you know so uh this is uh, you know there's another case happening um uh, i think a second case happening like this as well where there is um a parent i think a mom being tried i honestly i don't i don't 
have a problem with that, especially the gun part of it, because you purchased the gun for a mentally unwell person. There are laws supposedly intact to keep un mentally unstable people away from guns. So the parents found a loophole in their system, in, in the system there, to buy their son a gun. Um, therefore, they broke the law because it's actually their gun. He purchased, he was the one with the money. The kid was the one who uh, gave his parents the money or at least pitched in to get this gun. So, you know, definitely, I think, guilty there of that. Anyway, guys, communicate in my chat. I always like when you do. Um, I thought this was something to talk about, and I wanted to talk about it. It's topical. And, um, yeah. And if you guys have any ideas for me to talk about things, I'd really love to hear about them. And, again, I'm just trying out this new um, little system here because everything has been weighing a ton, and I've really been suffering a lot um, with my back and my neck and my ear. The whole story. Guys, anyway, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. I thank you so much for being a part of, uh, for allowing me to be part of your day. And I, I really want you to communicate in the chat and stuff. And uh, don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I'm out. Thank you.